Hello everyone, I'm Anime Freak and welcome to the video. Before I get started, I just want to say, do you guys remember that video where I thought that the Patara earrings gave you a 10 times multiplier? Well, turns out I was wrong about that. But just to let you guys know, I honestly thought that the Patara earrings gave you that boost thanks to statements from Vados. But Chuck the Cybercook and Revolution corrected me and they said it doesn't. But I mean, come on, can you guys blame me for thinking this? A base form Kefla was beating a Super Saiyan Red. Come on. That's the only explanation that I can come up with. But you know what? We're just going to leave it to bad writing. And like many of you know, I'm not a power scaler. Well, I'm not as advanced as Chuck the Cybercook and Revolution. I'm a basic power scaler. So, yeah. I just wanted to point that out, and I do apologise. So with that said, let's carry on with the video. Now, to some of you who don't know, I am a fan of Revolution. He's a Dragon Ball YouTuber, and I highly recommend you guys go and check him out and subscribe to him. My favourite video is how he came to the conclusion how fast Goku is. And when I saw how fast Goku was, my jaw dropped, and I was just amazed on how he came to this conclusion. Which is why I suggest you guys go and check out his video, How Fast Goku Is. Because this video is going to be based off of Revolution's video. I've already used this video in a reaction, and I've also used this video in the Patara Earrings multiplier video, so I don't think it's fair for me to use his video again. So I suggest you guys go and watch that video first, and then come back and watch this video, because I do believe that Super Saiyan Red is much, much, much more powerful than what Revolution said in his video. Now, I'm not saying Revolution is wrong in his calculations, however, I would like to add something else to his calculations. Now, if there's any YouTubers out there, or if Revolution is watching this, if you want to correct me on this, please do. I'm not here to shame people, or I'm not here to troll people, or anything like that. I'm just here to debate. So if you guys want to add your two cents into this, please do. So with all that said and done, let's continue with the video. Now again, you guys have got to go and watch Revolution's video, How Fast Is Goku? Now, when you get to the video where he explains how powerful Vegito is, this is where I started to really think about stuff. Because if you guys really think about it, Vegito can go Super Saiyan Blue as we've seen in the anime, which both Vegeta and Goku can do, and both Goku and Vegeta can go Super Saiyan 2. Vegito has the combined power of both Goku and Vegeta, as we all know. All their abilities and transformations are mixed into one to make Vegito. So, we've seen Super Saiyan 1 Vegito, and we've seen Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. But, let's talk about Vegito before he became a Super Saiyan Blue. And I'm talking about Dragon Ball Z Vegito, not Dragon Ball Super Vegito. When Vegito went up against Super Buu, Vegito was in his Super Saiyan 1 form and he completely dominated Super Buu. Super Buu didn't stand a chance. Well, it was Buuhan, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. And then, after watching Chuck the Cyber Cook's video, Super Saiyan Blue vs Super Saiyan 4, which I have to admit, I think GT Goku was underplayed in that video because Goku was dominating a super perfect Cell in his kid form while he was fighting both Freezer and Cell in hell. In fact, Goku was just toying with them. He didn't transform or anything. But this isn't about GT Goku, we're here to talk about how fast Super Saiyan Red Goku is. If Revolution wants to make a video comparing Kid Goku to Super Perfect Cell, that'd be awesome. Now, back to the subject at hand. After watching Chuck the Cybercook's video, he compared a Super Saiyan 3 Vegito with Super Saiyan God Goku. And watching Revolution's video on how fast Goku is, Revolution compared Super Saiyan 1 Vegito to Super Saiyan Red Goku. And yes, I know Revolution was lowballing Super Saiyan Red Goku, just to simplify things. And even though Dragon Ball Super has ended, Goku's base form has gotten a lot more powerful than when he fought against Frieza in Resurrection No F. But you know what? I actually think that this is a good lowball, comparing Goku's base form to Final Form 100% Frieza. Because back on Namek, Goku had to use his Super Saiyan form to beat Frieza. But in the movie and the series, Goku was facing off against Frieza in his final form, in his base form. Well, Goku was in his base form, but you know, you, you guys know what I'm trying to say. So, this is a good low ball, if you ask me. Even though, again, Goku's base form has gone a lot stronger since then. But again, we're going to use Resurrection Nowhere base form Goku. And again, this is a low ball 
not the end of Super Goku. Now, when Revolution got to the point of telling us how powerful Vegeta was, which I think is much more powerful than Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which is in Vegito's base form, and Revolution showed us how fast Vegito was when he went Super Saiyan 1, again, thanks to Revolution and Chuck the Cybercook videos, I started thinking about this stuff. Now, after Goku went Kaioken times 20 in his blue form, I really wanted to know how fast Goku was after he went Kaioken times 20 Super Saiyan Blue. But I didn't start calculating until I saw Chuck the Cyber Cook's video Super Saiyan Blue vs Super Saiyan 4. And when he showed us a Super Saiyan 3 Vegito compared to a Super Saiyan Red Goku, which again Chuck was lowballing Super Saiyan Red Goku, this is where I decided to try and calculate how powerful Super Saiyan Red Goku is compared to Super Saiyan 3 Vegito. Now I know what some of you are going to say. You're going to say, Oh, but Anime Freak, we haven't seen a Super Saiyan 3 Vegito in the manga or in the anime series. And we don't know if Vegito can go Super Saiyan 3. And also, Vegito didn't use Super Saiyan 2 or 3 against Buhan in Z. Yes, yes, guys. I know Vegito didn't go Super Saiyan 2 or 3. However, we did see Vegito go Super Saiyan Blue against Sumosu. But since Goku and Vegito didn't have Super Saiyan Blue, when they met Beerus, I'm going to leave that argument out. Now, I have got reasons why Vegito could have gone Super Saiyan 3 if he wanted to against Buhan and Beerus. Now, reason number one, Vegito has both the abilities and transformations of both Vegeta and Goku. We saw him use the instant transmission and this technique belonged to Goku. So if Vegito can use the instant transmission, then who's to say that he can't use the Kamehameha or he can't use the Gallic Gun Vegito is a combination between Goku and Vegeta. And I also have a really good reason as to why Vegito didn't use Super Saiyan 2 or 3 against Buhan. Now, obviously, Goku and Vegeta knows Super Saiyan 1 and 2, but we've only seen him use Super Saiyan 1 against Buhan. And this was more than enough to beat Buhan. In fact, Vegito was just playing around with Buhan. Now, obviously, Vegito's plan was to get inside of Buhan and release Gohan Piccolo Trunks and Goten inside of Boo, but I don't think Vegito wanted to agitate Buhan to a point where he pulls a Cell and self-destruct. Now, in the Cell games, when Gohan was facing against Cell in his Super Saiyan 2 form, before Cell came back as Super Perfect Cell, Cell vomited up Android 18 and he regressed to his semi-perfect form. Cell at this point had no choice but to blow himself up. Gohan was much, much, much more powerful for him to handle not to mention that Goku, Vegeta and Trunks could easily kill him now. And so he tried to blow himself up. And the same could go for Buhan. Vegito in his Super Saiyan form was just playing around with Buhan. And if Buhan was to have seen Super Saiyan 3 Vegito, he would have most likely gone to his head, oh shit, I have no chance against this. And would most likely try to blow himself up alongside the Earth. Super Saiyan 3 takes a long, long time to power up to. So... Just by seeing Vegito power up to Super Saiyan 3, he would most likely pull a cell and just blow himself up along with the Earth. Now, even though Vegeta doesn't have Super Saiyan 3, he did, however, surpass Goku for a few seconds when he was facing off against Beerus after Beerus hit Bulma. Stated by Masaroshi. Just have a look. Yes, Master Roshi said that Vegeta surpassed Goku, even though Vegeta doesn't have Super Saiyan 3. And the reason why Vegeta didn't try to obtain Super Saiyan 3 is because Super Saiyan 3 has side effects. Vegeta knows the drawbacks of Super Saiyan 3. It uses up way too much power. So instead of trying to obtain Super Saiyan 3, he decided to use and stay as Super Saiyan 2. This was sheer determination and sheer anger alongside his training when he went up against Beerus. 
I know for a fact that Vegeta has the potential to go Super Saiyan 3, but chooses not to because of its drawbacks. Now, let's have a look at Super Saiyan 3 Goku, when he went up against Beerus. Goku at Super Saiyan 3 didn't stand a ghost of a chance against Beerus. And when Beerus bet Goku, Goku said this. I only know one way to get stronger. I'd have to perform fusion with Vegeta again. No, I don't even think that would give me a chance. Now, even though Master Roshi said that Vegeta surpassed Goku for a few moments, and Goku went Super Saiyan 3, and even Goku saying that fusion wouldn't be enough to beat Beerus, I think we can all assume that Goku means a Vegito going all out and using Super Saiyan 3. Now some of you are probably thinking, oh I'm just wanking Vegito, but I'm still lowballing Super Saiyan Red Goku, which is why I'm comparing him to a Super Saiyan 3 Vegito, just to compare power levels. So, if Vegito was to go all out and use Super Saiyan 3, that still wouldn't be enough to beat Beerus. And Super Saiyan Red is supposed to be much more powerful than Vegito. So I'm going to compare Super Saiyan 3 Vegito's power to Super Saiyan Red Goku. Again, I am lowballing Goku. So, when Revolution got to how fast Vegito was, this is where I'm going to do the calculations for Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3 Vegito. Now, before I get on to the speed, I just want to point out one other thing. Since Dragon Ball, Goku has gone a lot more powerful after training, after every fight. Now, I'm going to show you a clip on how fast Goku is for when he was a kid. Well, technically, it's a fight between Krillin and Master Roshi, aka Jackie Chun. Goku still has the same speed as Jackie Chun and Krillin. Well, he surpassed Krillin, but you know what I'm trying to say. Now, here's the fight between Krillin and Jackie Chun, and this is how fast they was back in Dragon Ball. Here it is. Now let's check your speed. Ah! 
All right, let's go. Take me over that way. Yes, sir. Let's see now. Oh, yeah. Like this. <laughs> Excuse me, Jackie, but didn't you land right about here? Mm -hmm. Yes. I landed perfectly like this. Chuck? Hey, how about a little help over here? Right. No, right. Just pick me up and I'll show you what happened after he kicked me. Yes, okay. Uh, there? Uh, yeah, that's it. Except here I started turning a flip. Flip? But I'm not sure I can do that. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you crazy? Sorry, I didn't mean it. <clears throat> My head hurt so bad I couldn't see straight, but I still <sighs> landed. Yeah, that's the spot. I landed right there, but I couldn't keep it together, so I passed out. Hmm? Oh, yes. We saw that part. You mean all this happened in just that brief instant? Mm-hmm. Can you believe the incredible talents of these fighters? Yes, that happened between Jackie Chun and Krillin. All that stuff was happening and nobody saw what they was doing, but Goku did. Now I know what some people are going to say, they're going to say, Oh, but Anime Freak, we haven't saw Goku do the same as Krillin. That means Goku can't do what Krillin did and Jackie Chun. Okay, listen, only because we haven't seen Goku do this sort of thing doesn't mean he can't do it. Like Goku said, he saw what Jackie Chun did to Krillin. Jackie Chun is much more powerful than Krillin. And when it came near to the end of the tournament, it was Goku versus Jackie Chun. And Jackie Chun was struggling against Goku. And it was sheer luck that Jackie Chan won against Goku. Spoilers. Both Goku and Jackie Chun's power was on par with each other. And by the end of the Dragon Ball series, Goku was the most powerful being on the planet. After his fight against Piccolo Jr. Now we've went on from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z. Goku's fought Raditz. Vegeta, the Ginyu Force, Frieza, Cell, Boo, and they're always supposed to be a bystander that's supposed to be less powerful than them, and they couldn't see the fight between one of the Z Warriors and an enemy. Hell, when Goku was facing off against Frieza on planet Namek, Goku and Frieza was fighting so fast, not even King Kai could keep up with them. And King Kai is a god. And look at Cell versus Gohan. Gohan took the Zensu beans from Cell without Cell even noticing. Look at Berta and Jace. When Goku was facing off against them, Goku was moving so fast that they couldn't land a hit on him. Hell, to us, Goku was moving so fast that he, it looked like he wasn't even moving. But this was before Frieza with Berta and Jace. So you guys get the basic idea. The more Goku trains and the more he fights, the more powerful he's going to get. And thanks to his transformations, he gets even more powerful. And he got even more powerful thanks to Super Saiyan Red and Super Saiyan Blue. But when it came to the Universe 6 fight, Goku showed us his most impressive feat. And that was moving in stopped time. Hell, he was moving so fast, not even Hit could see where Goku was going. Just watch this. That was insane, and since then Goku's gotten a lot more powerful, and he also can now do the Kaioken times 20. And when he went up against Jiren, not even Kaioken times 20 can beat him, and Jiren wasn't even using his full power. But when it came to the end of the series of Dragon Ball Super, and Goku achieved Ultra Instinct, Goku was moving so insanely fast, Jiren didn't even see Goku go past him when Goku caught his attack. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you guys. As if you guys don't know what happens. Here it is. All these clips up to now is for you, DC and Marvel fans. Here it is.
compare Goku's feet from when he was fighting Jackie Chun all the way to now. That is insane. Insane speed. I'm sorry for all these clips I'm showing. I just wanted to show the Marvel and DC fans how fast Goku has gotten since Dragon Ball. Now, since I've showed you how powerful Goku has gotten since he was a kid, I'm going to show you guys exactly how fast Goku is. Revolution did all the work in his video, how fast Goku is, but I would like to continue Revolution's work and add a few more calculations. Now, again, if you haven't seen Revolution's video, how fast Goku is, please go and watch that video first. And then as soon as you watch that, come back and watch this video to this point. But I'm going to show you guys a little clip of where he left off. He did base form Vegito and Super Saiyan 1 Vegito. Here it is. So therefore, a Super Saiyan Vegito from the Buu Saga will not work against Beerus. So to get Super Saiyan Vegito, what you have to do is times a Super Saiyan 2 Vegito from the Buu Saga times Super Saiyan 3 Goku from the Buu Saga. Now to get Vegeta's Super Saiyan 2 speed, you literally divide Super Saiyan 3 Goku speed by 4 and you'll get a good rough estimation. That would put Vegeta's speed as a Super Saiyan 2 at 924 quadrillion, 750 trillion. Now times that by Goku Super Saiyan 3 speed, 3 quintillion, 699 quadrillion, that equals a, a mammoth, 300 decillion, 420 decillion, 650 nanillion, 250 octillion times the speed of light, times that by 50 for the Super Saiyan multiplier, you get 171 undercillion, 32 decillion, 512 nanillion, 500 octillion times the speed of light. So here are the calculations for how fast Goku is. Now, Super Saiyan 2 Vegito speed is 342 undecillion, 65 decillion, 25 nanillion. And Vegito's Super Saiyan 3 form speed is 1 duo decillion, 364 undecillion, 260 decillion, 100 nanillion. And so, we are going to compare Super Saiyan 3 Vegito to Super Saiyan God Goku. Just like how Revolution compared Super Saiyan 1 Vegito to Super Saiyan God Goku. Now, as for Super Saiyan Blue Goku, some people have been saying that it's a 50 times multiplier because it was stated by Goku that he mixed his Super Saiyan form with his Super Saiyan God powers. But, I'm going to keep it simple and do the exact same thing Revolution has done and say it's a 2 times multiplier. Remember, this is still a low ball. Super Saiyan Blue's speed is 2 duo decillion, 428 undecillion, 320 decillion, 200 nonillion. Now, put Kaioken times 10 on top of Super Saiyan Blue, Goku's speed would be 24 duo decillion, 283 undecillion, and 202 decillion. Now, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 Goku's speed is 48 duo decillion, 564 undecillion, and 40 decillion. Now, some of you are probably going to think, Anime Freak, you are out of your mind. There's no way that Goku can be that fast. Guys, I'm still lowballing Goku. Goku had to use Super Saiyan 1 in order to beat Final Form Freezer when he was on Namek. But saying that, Goku's base form has gotten a lot more powerful ever since he fought Freezer on Earth. Ever since then, he spent three years in the hyperbolic time chamber with Vegeta to train. He fought hit twice. He went against Samasu, and at the end of episode 131 of Dragon Ball Super, Goku said to Jiren that they got a lot stronger as they were fighting in the Tournament of Power. And the shocking part is, even though Goku used the Kaioken times 20 against Jiren, even then Goku couldn't defeat Jiren. And then, when when Goku went Omen Ultra Instinct, he was on par with Jiren. He wasn't struggling like he was with the Kaioken. He was going fist to fist with Jiren. So, it's safe to say that Omen Ultra Instinct gave Goku a much, much bigger boost in power and in speed. And then, when Goku used his completed Ultra Instinct, he completely demolished Jiren. With just a blink of an eye, Goku just swinged one punch and Jiren was surrounded by punches. And this forced Jiren to go full power. And again, Goku and Jiren was on par with each other. Jiren knocked down Goku, but he got back up and started fighting again. And Goku demolished Jiren again. And completed Ultra Instinct is much more powerful than Omen Ultra Instinct. And for the life of me, I have absolutely no idea 
how powerful these two forms, Omen and Complete Ultra Instinct, is. But if you want my honest opinion, I think we'd have to scale Jiren's power level. And to be honest, I have absolutely no idea how powerful Jiren and Goku is. And again, I'm still lowballing Goku. His power level has gotten much more powerful than when he fought against Frieza in the movie. Now, about GT Goku, the last time we saw Goku, he was fighting Frieza and Cell in Hell. It's safe to say that Goku's base form is stronger of that of a Super Saiyan 2, because Super Perfect Cell was stronger as that of a Super Saiyan 2 when he went up against Gohan. But saying that, GT Goku was just playing about with him. But today, I'm not going to be doing GT Goku. I'll leave that for another day. Please go over to Revolution's channel and subscribe to him. He's a good YouTuber, and if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have made this video. I'm Anime Freak, peace out. Thank you guys for watching, and if there's a series you want me to check out, and review, and give my thoughts on it, or if there's a top 10 list you want me to do, or any reactions, or responses, or rants on anything geeky, just leave links and comments in the comment sections below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you guys want to follow me on my social medias, I'm on Minds.com, Twitch, Dailymotion, and Hatron, Reddit, BitChoot, aka the new YouTube, DeviantHeart, Discord, Vidme, Gab, Twitter, Tumblr, Patreon, GoFundMe, PayPal, and my other social medias are down there in the description box below, so if you want to go and check them out, please do. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And please go and check out my new skeptic channel, Gypsy Freak. It's also down there in the description box below. Peace out.